What up, it's boy K, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make beats for Ken Carson. Ken Carson usually goes for like some chill shit that's still kind of hard, but the beat that I'm gonna be showing off in this video, it's like leaning more on the rage side, but this is still the sound you would hear from Ken Carson. Anyways, let's hop into the beat. So I got the beat pulled up here in FL Studio 20. I'll just pull you guys the beat so you can hear what it sounds like. So yeah, that's basically what the beat sounds like and let's hop right into it so obviously the first thing i made for the beat was the melody i just used the sound that i found in a one shot kit that i thought was pretty cool and i laid this out on it it's pretty cool it's got some rolls in it kind of like some hi-hats would but in this case i did it in the melody which i think is pretty cool and this was the next thing i did for the melody i'll let you guys hear it and then i'll explain it after So as you can hear, it sounds like it's a guitar, but it's actually not. This is what it sounds like with no effects on it. So basically, I just threw a guitar rig on it to make it sound like it's an electric guitar, even though it's not, which I think is pretty sick. And the next thing I did was this small little synth that plays every two bars. And for most of the beat, it only plays half the guitar section. So this is what it sounds like all together. So yeah, I got some really hard hitting sounds for the melody. Creates a lot of movement, a lot of bounce. So yeah, let's just hop right into the drums. First thing, obviously the clap, same spot as always, nothing new. And here's the hi-hat, not much going on. Few rolls here and there. This is what it sounds like. And then I laid out this open hat here. There's one that just hits on the start of every bar, and then there's one that leads right into the clap. And this is what they both sound like together. Really the last thing for the drums is just the snare pattern, cause there's already so much going on with the melody that you don't want the drums to be too crazy. Otherwise there'd be no room for the rapper. And next thing is the 808, it's just following the exact same notes that the main melody is doing, but obviously has a different rhythm, here's what it sounds like. And if you like how this 808 sounds, it's in my drum kit, the 30 round kit, available at boyk.com. So here's all the drums together with the 808. And there's a few final things I added here and there, like this reverse 808. And I show how to properly do that in my 808 tips video. And a card is popping up on screen for that right now. And you know, just a few more effects here and there, like the thunder, the uh sound, this clock ticking sound, and then this growl sound. And then finally, I just got this reverse crash coming out of the hook. And here's what everything sounds like all together. Anyways guys, that pretty much does it for this beat. Obviously I did some structuring and arranging, but that's pretty boring to watch. So I figured I'd just show you the most important parts. The things to take away from this video is just ride that fine line between rage and just normal like Playboy Cardi and Pierre Bourne beats. So yeah, basically making a beat for Ken Carson is like making one for Playboy Cardi, except you just lean more on the rage side a little bit. But yeah, anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that crazy shit. Daily uploading right now, so stay on the lookout for that. My drum kit, the 30 round kit, is available at blake.com but other than that guys i'll catch you in the next one